Hi, this is Benjamin from Team 8680 Crack and Pinion, and we also have Jet here. Today we're going to be, or as part of Robot 30 Hours, we're going to be showing you um, and testing how the different game elements fall as we drop them at different heights on the backdrop from the different set lines. This video on First Update's Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com slash Robits to learn more in order today. We're gonna start with um, just from the very top of the board. And so we can see that it kind of bounces around, but it does settle in pretty well and stays there. And then let's just drop down to maybe on that next set line there and see how that falls. So you can see as we go down, they're kind of bouncing around, but they're not really falling out. So I think teams can be pretty sure as long as we're not bumping the board um, that it's pretty stable. And if we see now on the second one, like that. And so as we're crossing each of these lines, teams are going to have to know they're going to have to build up to get those 10-point uh, extra, um, extra bonus points. Um, let's just drop, yeah, for right there you can see they slide in nicely, and even if, let's just say for example, like we drop one doesn't land perfectly, right, it'll kind of fall into place, as you can see, like that one's not, yeah, you can see that if we kind of keep dropping them, there, they, they lock into place. So I think kind of the, um, game strategy doesn't have to be too focused on, like, being ultra careful, given that they're gonna fall into place nicely. Any thoughts? Um, at the higher levels, they do bounce around, so scoring mosaics becomes a little less accurate. So if you're going to score a mosaic, it's more important to be more accurate, take more time to line up where you're dropping the pixel. But if you're just scoring some of the white ones or you're not going for a mosaic, whatever height you drop them at doesn't really affect the scoring too much. We also think that it might be a great idea to um, manipulate the actual elements once, oh, whoops, once they're on, um, once they're already on there. So let's just say we're trying to make a mosaic, we drop it too high, it bounces the wrong place. We can fix our mistake and kind of move it over. So that's definitely something I think teams should consider as we go into the upcoming season. So we're going to, just with a few of them on here, we're going to try to see what, how hard it takes to knock them off. So do you want to try it? Yeah. So it's pretty tough. I mean, you're having to hit it quite hard. Now, if we make a, do you want to make a big stack here? Sure. So we make, if we make a tall and thin stack, which a lot of teams might be doing to get those extra bonus points. So we're going to see right now. Let's, have, let's go up to maybe past the second line if we can. Thank you. All right, so now we're going to try hitting again. So we can see he barely touched it. Jet barely touched it, and they're, they're falling off. So teams have, have to know that the riskier they go to get those extra points, they're going to fall off easier. Thanks for watching. Check out all the other videos on Fun's YouTube channel and stay up to date with Robot in 30 Hours in this year's season. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com slash Robits to learn more in order today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.